Ahoy there shipmates, my name is Brian and in this episode of the 5 Minute Mariner we will be discussing amplitude calculations. You may be familiar with the term amplitude but the question we first must answer is what actually is an amplitude? Amplitude is the numerical difference between true east or 090 degrees and true west which is 270 degrees and the actual bearing of the sun. It's important to emphasise at this point that the amplitude calculation is not the same as the true bearing. To show this concept, the diagram shows the bearing of the sun at sunrise and sunset if the declination of the sun is 0 degrees and the latitude of the observer is 0 degrees. As you can see, the sun will rise at 090 degrees exactly and will set at 270 degrees exactly. If the latitude of the observer stays the same, in this case 0 degrees, however we now start to change the declination of the sun and give the sun a northerly declination, you can see that there now exists a difference between true east or 090 degrees and the now true bearing of the sun. This difference is called the amplitude. Amplitudes are caused either by a change in declination, a change in latitude or both. To calculate the amplitude we must use the following formula. Some key points to note are that when the sine of the declination is divided by the cosine of the latitude, this will give us the sine of the amplitude. Therefore we must inverse sine the number to give us the actual value of the amplitude, which will be given in degrees. A key point to remember is that the value of the amplitude is not the same as the true bearing of the sun at sunrise and sunset. Now that we've calculated the amplitude, there are four possible calculations we need to complete in order to find the true bearing of the sun at sunrise or sunset. The first is to consider if the declination is to the north, we either have a sunrise calculation or a sunset calculation, and the same if the declination is to the south. For a northerly declination at sunrise, we start with an initial bearing of 090 degrees and minus the amplitude. At sunset, 27 degrees, and we add the amplitude. If the declination is to the south, we start with the same initial bearings, however we swap what we do with the amplitude. Namely, if it's sunrise we would add the amplitude and at sunset we would minus the amplitude. Here is a typical amplitude question. Although there's lots of information in here, there is only three pieces of information that we actually need to complete the calculation. That is whether it's sunrise, sunset, the value of the declination and the value of the latitude. To find the value of the amplitude, we simply take our values of declination and latitude and divide the sine of the declination by the cosine of the latitude. This will give us the sine of the amplitude and therefore by inverse signing this, this will give us our value of amplitude, which in this example is 21 degrees exactly. It's important to remember that the value of the amplitude is not the same as the true bearing and in this example the sun will not rise on a bearing of 0 2, 1. Instead we have to start whether it's sunrise or sunset with an initial bearing. In this case as it's sunrise we start in the east therefore we start with a value of 0, 090 0 degrees. As our declination is north we must minus this value from 0, 090 0, and that will give us our true bearing which would be 0, 090 0 degrees minus our amplitude which is 21 degrees Therefore, the true bearing of the sun in this example will be 069 degrees true. This is a very valuable tool and allows the gyros and compasses to be checked at sunrise and sunset. Here are some examples to try at home. Please pause the video and the answers will be shown in 10 seconds. And here are the answers, which have been split into the amplitude values and the true bearing. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content.